Hi guys. So today I have the Inquisitor for you. And he is in the single figure line, which I believe retails for like five ninety nine or something like that. So he's super cheap and you can get a brand new Rebels figure. Yep. So that and then my two pack are actually the only Rebels figures that they had, both between to Toys R Us and Target. So I don't have uh, Chopper and who else is out? I don't even know. I guess we'll look on the back of the package. Anyways, so uh, we will start with the package, of course, first. And I think it is super freaking cool. Um, and it is, I mean, it's really cool. Like, you even have, the plastic bubble has, like, the little, um, what are these? The little breathing apparatus on it. It's just really neat looking, I think. Um, so that's that. And it says the Inquisitor right there with his picture. And I'm looking for the Disney. Oh, Disney's right here. So they, they move it on the smaller packages. So this package is really small, which I like. I don't mind. I don't care for humongous packages. And it's got a bio here. And oh, look, they did change the picture. So we have a picture of the Inquisitor. So that's nice. And then all in the line, we have, where are you, Bubble? There we are. A Stormtrooper, Clone Trooper, Ezra. But I already have that pack, so I will, probably won't get Ezra. Oh, and I guess Kanan, too. So, yeah, I won't get that. Darth Vader, Luke Skywalker. I do want him. Agent Callus. That's who I need. Uh, Obi-Wan, uh, Chopper, the Snow Trooper, and Jango Fett. So there's a huge amount of figures in this wave. So very cool. And he is number three in the series. And I was setting this figure down because the package just pulls away from the bubble. I just want to show you the bubble this one time because it was so cool looking. So here we have the Inquisitor, and he is super awesome. Ah, uh, there we go. Again, paint detail is super good. Like, if you look at his eyes, they are just so well detailed. I don't think the Black Series can even get this precise. So this is really the Mission Series, or these guys. Um, their redeeming factor is that their their design and their paints are so good. Um, I don't think my camera is going to pick up on his tiny headlines. but Not headlines, headlines. Um, but there's his there's the Imperial symbol. And his double-bladed swinging lightsaber, which I think is silver, not black, but whatever. That's fine. And again, these figures only have five points of articulation. So the head swivels, the shoulder swivel, and the legs swivel. So, yep, not a whole bunch to show on these figures, but they definitely do look impressive. Uh, I do think that they will be somewhat difficult to, like, if you want to set them up in an action pose, that's where your problems are going to arise. You're going to have to kind of kick it old school and, yeah work with the like the vintage figures you know so uh it could be worse they could have really really bad paint jobs but then that would be so awful so at least they do have that redeeming quality and hey it's the inquisitor so brand new bad guy of the series stay i actually think the bio on the back of this gives more about the inquisitor away than we've actually seen in the series so far anyways i picked this guy up at target i believe yeah and then the two pack at toys r us so uh, check your stores, guys. Generally, I was gonna say generally when they get to me, they're at a lot of other places already. So, anyways, thank you for watching and stay tuned for more reviews.